Edward Koike Sambo, also known as Eddie Mabo, was an indigenous man born on the 29th of June 1936 on a small island in the Torres Strait named Murray Island. Eddie Mabo dedicated his life to fighting for the land rights of indigenous people. Four other Merriam people assisted him named Sam Passy, David Passy, Sulia Mapo Sally and James Rice, all joined together to fight for their traditional ownership of the Murray Island. Their aim was to establish a precedent for the legal rights of Indigenous Australians and Torres Strait Islanders to ultimately allow these individuals to have native title over their land. The only reason they were able to take this case to the court was because they had locus standi, meaning they have an issue that directly affects them, meaning they could take the case to the Queensland government. After James Cook's arrival in Australia, the term terra nullius was used to justify the taking of the Indigenous people's land meaning that the land was nobody's land. Under international law, the land was officially owned by the British and no longer owned by the indigenous people of Australia. Eddie Marbo was a very passionate individual who believed that all individuals deserved equal rights. In his teenage years, he was unhappy with the lack of human rights for himself and other indigenous and Torres Strait Islanders. For multiple decades leading up to the famous Marbo case, Eddie Marbo worked in many campaigns to assist the indigenous communities with issues that they had for many years, such as employment, housing, education, and civil rights. By 1982, Eddie Marbo and the other Murray Islanders finally commenced their case in the High Court of Australia by utilizing the financial support of a grant, family and friends, as well as free legal assistance from lawyers who believed in the cause. Through this process, the original owners of the land claimed customary ownership of the Murray Islands. This challenged the doctrine of terra nullius and enabled all Indigenous Australians to be entitled to land rights under certain conditions. Indigenous Australians' main method of occupation and ownership of the land was given through inheritance from family members once they passed away. The term terra nullius did not allow for this process to take place. Marbo utilised this in the case stating that for multiple generations the land had been owned by the past generations. This enabled himself and many other individuals to be entitled to their land. However, if there was no evidence of any sort of traditional system of ownership, then these indigenous people were not entitled to the land. Due to the case being successful, the High Court rejected terra nullius and recognised indigenous people for having native title of the land. This caused the Commonwealth Parliament to pass the Native Title Act in 1993, which confirmed the decision made by the High Court, which assisted in establishing the Native Title Tribunal. This act provides protection of native title for indigenous individuals while also creating a mechanism for determining claims of native title. Overall, this case ultimately gave indigenous Australians a greater opportunity to have equal rights.